Devarim, Deuteronomy 16. Guard at the month of Aviv and keep the Pekach unto Yahuwah Eloheka. For in the month of Aviv, Yahuwah Eloheka brought you forth out of Mitzrayim by night. You shall therefore sacrifice the Pekach unto Yahuwah Eloheka of the flock and the herd in the place which Yahuwah shall choose to place his name there. You shall eat no chametz with it. Seven days you shall eat matzah therewith, even the bread of affliction. For you came forth out of the land of Mitzrayim in haste, that you may remember at the day when you came forth out of the land of Mitzrayim, all the days of your life. And there shall be no chametz seen with you in all your coast seven days. Neither shall there anything of the flesh which you sacrificed the first day at evening remain all night until the morning. You may not sacrifice at the Pekach within any of your gates, which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you. But at the place which Yahuwah Eloheka shall choose to place his name in, there you shall sacrifice at the Pekach at evening at the going down of the sun. at the season that you came forth out of Mitzrayim. And you shall roast and eat it in the place which Yahuwah Eloheka shall choose. And you shall turn in the morning and go unto your tents. Six days you shall eat matzah, and on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly to Yahuwah Eloheka. You shall do no work therein. Seven weeks shall you number unto you. Begin to number the seventh, rather the seven weeks, from such time as you begin to put the sickle to the grain. And you shall keep the feast of Shavuot unto Yahuwah Eloheka with a tribute of a free will offering of your hand, which you shall give unto Yahuwah Eloheka, according as Yahuwah Eloheka has blessed you. And you shall rejoice before Yahuwah Eloheka, you and your son, and your daughter, and your manservant and your maidservant, and the levi that is within your gates, and the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow that are among you, in the place which Yahuwah Eloheka has chosen to place his name there. And you shall remember that you were a bondman in Mitzrayim, and you shall guard and do at these statutes. You shall observe the feast of Kukot seven days. After that you have gathered in your threshing floor and your wine. And you shall rejoice in your feast, you and your son and your daughter, and your manservant and your maidservant, and the levi, the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow, that are within your gates. Seven days shall you keep a solemn feast unto Yahuwah Eloheka in the place which Yahuwah shall choose, because Yahuwah Eloheka shall bless you in all your increase and in all the works of your hands. Therefore you shall surely rejoice three times in a year shall all your males at appear before Yahuwah Eloheka in the place which he shall choose. 
in the Feast of Matzah, and in the Feast of Shavuot, and in the Feast of Kukot. And they shall not appear before Yahuwah empty. Every man shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of Yahuwah Eloheka, which he has given you. Judges and officers you shall make you in all your gates, which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you throughout your tribes, and they shall judge at the people with just judgment. You shall not rest judgment, you shall not respect persons, neither take a gift, for a gift blinds the eyes of the wise and perverts the words of the righteous. That which is altogether just shall you follow, that you may live and inherit at the land which Yahuwah Eloheka gives you. You shall not plant an Asherah pole, or rather, of any trees near unto the altar of Yahuwah Eloheka, which you shall make. Neither shall you set up any image, which Yahuwah Eloheka hates.